Urashima Taro Manga. In the past, Futang Island was a place with extremely poetic scenery. Besides the islands of yellow rocks and red soil, there are small green islands with pine forests. Many fishing villages live a peaceful, peaceful life next to the coastline with thousands of undulating waves. On a beautiful morning, the fisherman Urashima Taro set out to sea. His boat is a wooden boat, flat and has no rudder or sail. Taro is a muscular, handsome young man with a gentle and kind personality. That morning, Taro couldn't catch any fish until he finally saw something heavy under the fishing rod. He happily pulled it up and it turned out to be a small turtle. In Japan, it is said that turtles are the longest living animals in Japan, with some living up to 10,000 years. It is the servant of Dong Hai Dragon King. For that reason, no one dares to kill turtles for fear of encountering bad luck. Taro knew that so he removed the turtle from the hook, caressed it and said, Luckily you fell into my hands, if you had met a villain, you would have lost your life, my child. He will kill you, so how will you continue to live for this century and the next? Well, I'll let you go back to the aquarium, remember to tell him that I wish him a long life. Dot. Dot. Having finished speaking, he released the turtle into the water. The turtle, in an instant, sank deeply and disappeared. Taro didn't feel like fishing anymore. He lay down on the boat, looking up at the clouds flying across the emerald blue sky. The scene this morning was so gentle and poetic that Taro's soul felt lightheaded. So many images of dear memories returned to his mind. Dura village is small, with peaceful residents specializing in fishing. Every house has boats like his, wooden houses surrounded by gardens. Shin to Temple is located near the beach the cemetery where his ancestors have slept for thousands of years. Taro thought of his parents, the people who loved him wholeheartedly, always worried, cared for, protected, and protected him. Dot. Dot. It was noon, the scene was as quiet as paper. His boat slowly drifted on the calm sea. That magical scene lulled Taro into a deep sleep. Taro suddenly woke up when he felt someone's hand caressing him gently. Opening his eyes, he saw in front of him a gorgeous young woman with floor-length hair. She looked lovingly at Taro and spoke softly. Her voice was so sweet and gentle, don't be surprised. I am the daughter of Dong Hai Dragon King. My father thanked him for sparing the turtle's life so he sent me here to invite him to visit. And if you don't criticize me, we will get married and enjoy happiness down there for the rest of our lives. Taro was very shocked. He looked blankly at the beauty. Never before had he met someone as beautiful as the one standing before him. Although his heart was fluttering and filled with love, he didn't know what words to use to express it. The beauty did not wait for him to answer and sat down on the boat and took the oar. She had one roof, he had one roof, they gently rowed away. The boat floats on the calm sea. The scene was silent, only the sound of the oars rhythmically beating the water could be heard, as well as Taro listening to his heartbeat because happiness suddenly happened. A moment later, they entered a truly glorious world. Taro saw a magnificent marble palace set up in the middle of a garden of flowers of hundreds of colors, filled with fragrance. One hundred servants and one hundred maids, jubilantly, ran out to welcome the princess and her son-in-law. Dong Hai Dragon King, sitting on the throne, 
ordered a banquet to be held for Taro and his wedding ceremony was held immediately with great solemnity. Dot. Living under the aquarium, next to his beautiful young wife, Taro thought his happiness was beyond compare. However, sometimes he suddenly felt sad and afraid in his heart. He thought to himself, my parents must be sad and worried about my departure. If they knew that I was living happily under this aquarium, they would be very happy. How long have I lived here? One year, two years, I don't know how long it's been. I have to ask my wife to come back to Earth for a few days to visit my parents and then it won't be too late to return to the aquarium, he told that to his wife. The princess seemed sad. She cried all night, causing Taro to try his best to comfort her. I promise you I will be back soon. Life here is so happy, how could we forget? In the end, knowing she couldn't stop her husband, the princess had to hold her husband's hand and whisper, I can't stop you from showing your filial piety to your parents, but I'm very scared. I'm afraid that if you leave, we'll be together. We'll be apart forever. However, I would like to give you a souvenir. This souvenir will help you return to me, if your heart is still passionate about remembering. She gave him a small box made of agarwood, with a silk string tied to the outside. She advised, don't lose the box, don't open it, no matter what happens. If he opens it, he will never come back here again. As she spoke, she wiped away her tears. Rest assured, I promise you that I will never open this box. After visiting my parents, I will return to reunite with you. Taro's wooden boat has long been kept at the aquarium. People took it out again for Taro to row back to Earth. Taro carefully put the box with him and rowed away. He rowed for a long time and then saw his boat wash up on a densely populated island. That guy's hometown. Taro was happy, set foot on the set and could not help but feel emotional and shocked. He returned to his homeland but felt lost like a stranger. Only the hills and mountains are still recognizable, everything else has changed. Every house is big, tall and wide. The fields change places. Shin to temple is now erected at a higher place. His old house in the past is now a lush green pine forest. Passersby looked at the fishermen with surprised eyes. In the past, he knew all the villages and neighbors. Why now do he look at everyone as strangers? Taro found the oldest man to ask the reason. Dear teacher, please tell me where Taro's house is now. The old man's white hair and hunched back looked at him with surprise. What did you say? Yes, I wonder where Taro's family is moving to now? Star? Yes, I want to find Taro's house. Thinking the old man was hard of hearing, Taro shouted loudly. I'm looking for Taro's house. Does old man Urashima Taro know? The old man replied, Are you crazy? Urashima Taro was a young fishing boatman who drowned at sea 400 years ago. The strange thing is that he drowned in the middle of a calm sea and calm waves. They built him a grave outside the cemetery. I mean in the old cemetery the cemetery they abandoned 50 years ago. You can visit Taro's grave. The story has become a fairy tale. Why do you still ask such stupid questions? Urashima Taro quietly walked towards the cemetery. He found that place in his own grave. Next to the graves of his father, mother and countless descendants of his family. The tombs are mostly mossy and ancient. Taro was stunned and shocked. In his hand he still held the water princess's box. He thought to himself, why is this so strange? Everything around us changes. 
Maybe when we open this box, we will know the secret. It will explain this strange phenomenon to us. Should I open the box? I promised you I would never open it. Dot. Dot. Oh, I just untied the silk string, then tied it back as before. How would you know? I have to open the box to discover the secret. Honey. Taro untied the connection and opened the box. From inside the box, he took a white smoke and flew up to the south, towards the aquarium. The box contained only that smoke, and nothing else. Taro was startled. He knew the danger was coming. I regret my actions but I can't help it anymore. Taro knew that from now on he had no way back, and had no desire to return to the aquarium where his current wife was waiting. Sad, Taro cried. He cried for a while and felt his blood freeze in his veins, his limbs shriveled like dry trees, his hair became gray, his teeth fell out one by one. His strength gradually dissipated. Taro collapsed on the side of the road. The passing of four centuries has weighed heavily on that young fisherman. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.